this is the EAA Air Venture Museum in Oshkosh. It's one of Northeast Wisconsin's most popular tourist destinations. We draw more than 120,000 people here every year. Most of us, of course, know EAA for the annual Air Venture fly-in, where we draw a half million people and 10,000 airplanes. But this is a year-round attraction, with nearly 200 airplanes in the collection. More than 100 of them are on display at any given time in the various hangars throughout the museum. So we have activities throughout the year as well. There are exhibits here that feature the historic aspect of aircraft. There are things for the kids to do. If you're a World War II airplane buff, there's a lot to do there. So really it is all encompassing and we welcome people from around the world here throughout the year. Many of them drive in, some of them fly in to Whitman Regional Airport in their own aircraft, then come over here and visit the museum. So it is a unique museum, one of the country's top aviation museums, and many people think of it as a world-class aviation museum uh, on the level of those you might see at the National Air and Space Museum or out at the Boeing facility out in Seattle at the Museum of Flight. So this place is regarded in that realm and really makes it something special to bring the family here, bring guests here, or just make it a day trip if you've got one tank of gas and want to spend it seeing something unusual for the day. Hi, my name is Zach Boffman. I work at the EAA Air Venture Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And we are standing in the Eagle Hangar here at the museum, which commemorates our World War II collection. We have a pretty fantastic collection of aircraft and artifacts here at the museum, spanning from 1903 with the Wright Brothers Wright Flyer to a commercial spaceship with Spaceship One. So we have a little bit of something for everyone. If you're into space, we've got something for you. If you have children and they like to get their hands on things and, and play with things, we have that too. It's a great place to visit and I encourage everybody to come. Some of our new exhibits include a World War II nose art exhibit where you can come look at the jackets that World War II fighter pilots and bomber pilots wore. Uh, we have some original pieces of World War II artwork that came right off the airplanes from World War II. We have Johnny Carson's flight bag and logbook. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but Johnny Carson was a private pilot. We have that on display here. We have a brand new exhibit in honor of the 75th anniversary of Amelia Earhart's disappearance. And one of the unique things in that exhibit is a medallion that was presented to a woman in Nina in 1935 when Amelia Earhart was visiting for a lecture. We have a, a great exhibit about the Voyager which in 1986 was the first airplane to fly around the world nonstop with no refueling. We have a great exhibit about Spaceship One, the very first commercial spaceship ever made uh, with civilian astronauts. We have some great exhibits about home building, which is where people make their own airplanes in their basements and in their garages. It's a really great place to come and visit and I encourage everybody to come out and visit the museum we really do have something for everyone.